Hi, my name is Matt Kendricks. I'm the project founder for DSIP Router. So um, I'm going to talk to you today about an enhanced capability that we've added to 0.61, which makes it super easy to allow inbound calling into Microsoft Teams. So let's go ahead and look at the architecture for today. So I have a Zoipier phone that's going to be registered with Fusion PBX. Uh, Fusion PBX is going to be configured uh, with a gateway that actually routes calls to DSIP router. DSIP router will then be configured to route to the team's infrastructure, which will then route the call, call down to my team's client. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to configure this. So let's go ahead and start with Fusion PBX first. All right, so I already have uh, an extension, right? Extension 1000. Uh, and I already have my Zoipier phone that is actually registered to that. So let me bring that over. And I have that here as well. So let's just go and just validate that we're able to register here. All right, perfect. So I'm able to register and we have our phone here. So we'll, we'll minimize that for right now. Okay. All right. So the next thing we need to do is we needed to set up, uh, you know, Fusion PBX to actually communicate with DSIP router. So the way we'll do that is we'll create a gateway. And I already have a gateway configured here. So I'm going to show you, though, how you would create one. So you would actually put the gateway name here, um, and that's just uh, is just the you know the display friendly name of the of the gateway, and then I'll put the IP address of uh, the gateway. Um, so let's just grab that. And I want the external name here. Perfect. Just wanted to confirm that is the right name. So I already have that name, that IP address here. And then we need to do a couple of things here that took a little bit to figure out exactly what um, MS Teams kind of needed and what things it had problems with. So one of the first things is that you need to specify that you want the caller ID in the from. So you're going to set that to true. And then you need to disable um, uh, comfort noise detection. So you can turn this to false, right? So uh, that's really all you need in a gateway. Like I said, I already have mine configured here, so no need for me to create another one. Okay, so now that we have a gateway, we need to go ahead and create an outbound route. So let's go to outbound routes and uh, let's go ahead and add an outbound route. We'll specify our gateway and we just need to specify a dial plan expression. So basically we need to tell it um, based on this dial plan expression, um, this gateway should be used to send calls outbound to DSIP router. So um, in our case, we're just going to do North America. Um, this is a little shortcut that it has here. Um, so it builds the regular expression for me. So basically, this is going to allow either 10 digit or 11 digit numbers with an optional uh, plus sign or optional uh, one, right? So um, that's really all we need to do from an outbound um, uh, route perspective. So we're all good there. Um, so we're all set to go from a uh, from a Fusion PBX perspective. So let's just go back and refer to our our slide again. We've already did the the you know registered our Zoipier phone with Fusion PBX, and we've already configured Fusion PBX to communicate with DSIP router. So now let's go over to DSIP router and configure it to work with Teams. Okay, let's log into DSIP router. All right, we're gonna go over to domains. 
we're going to add a domain. So in our case, it's going to be this. And then we're going to specify the domain type as a Microsoft Teams direct routing domain and click add. We'll go over to the rocket ship just to make sure everything uh, checks out here. Uh, the, the main thing that we've added into 0.61 to make the experience much better is that we automatically create an endpoint group. So this endpoint group is used for uh, allowing calls to come inbound. So before, you would have to go in and create an inbound endpoint group uh, on your own. Now we handle the complexity of doing that for you. So all we need to do now is go over to inbound DID mapping. And then we just need to specify that we want to be able to route calls inbound. And we're going to actually just say, um, we're going to have a rule that just says accept all. And so we're not going to put in a DID. We're going to specify our, um, our endpoint group as being the one we just created or the one that was created for us when we, when we actually created a domain and click add. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click reload. And I'm going to bring up my Microsoft Teams uh, environment or my client, which is here. Uh, the phone number that we have defined in here is this. I'm going to bring up my Zoipier phone as well. And I'm going to give it a call. And all right. All right. So now we're talking uh, between the two clients. So I'm going to go ahead and hang up. Okay. So that was pretty simple. We've made this experience much easier. Uh, I've laid out a, um, a, a action item, a set of action items or action plan for you to be able to achieve the same thing. So let's just go through that really quickly. So uh, in order to accept inbound calls um, into Microsoft Teams, uh, it, you can do it in about 30 minutes. So here's the process to do it. So install DCIP router. Purchase a five-channel subscription. Uh, this allows us to continue our work with integrating with uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, create an extension in Fusion PBX. Register to that extension. Uh, configure a gateway in Fusion PBX. And remember, you need to set the caller ID and set the suppressed CNG. Then you need to configure an outbound route. Then you need to configure a Microsoft Teams domain and DCIP router. Then we need to configure an inbound route uh, for any DID. We call that basically inbound mapping. Uh, and then you need to make an inbound call using Zoipier to the actual phone number that you have defined in uh, Microsoft Teams. So, okay, well, uh, thank you for your time. I really appreciate you listening to this, uh, to this series uh, and enjoy.